getting started with Taskworld. Hello and welcome to your Taskworld workspace. This is the first video of our Getting Started tutorial series. Here you'll learn how to navigate your workspace and help you to collaborate with your team effectively. Wherever you are in your Taskworld workspace, you can always see the full navigation on the left along with the plus sign and on the top right. Let's start with the left navigation panel first. Here you can see your notifications, the overview page, your projects, the people page, and your chat button. We will explore these in more detail later. In the top right navigation panel, you find shortcuts to your chat messages as well as our help center. Our help center has interactive tutorials, user guide, and a couple of options to get in touch with our support team. Now when you click on the plus button, you can easily create a new task, a project, or a chat channel. You can go to the People tab on the left and invite your team members to your workspace. Depending on your plan, you will have the possibility to invite your colleagues, either as members or guests. Members require a license and will have full access to your plan's features. We recommend adding anyone to your core team who regularly needs to collaborate as a member. Guests do not require a license. They have restricted access to your workspace. This type of access is a great way to collaborate with external clients, vendors, or freelancers, as they will only be able to access tasks and projects that they are made part of. The rest of your workspace remains private. You can decide the type of access you would like to grant to someone. Once decided, you can then either send them a link to your workspace or invite them via email. Remember, you can always invite your teammates later too. How to edit your personal profile in Taskworld You can access these settings by clicking on your profile icon in the top right corner. Here you can change your email address, password, and time zone. A quick tip here. If you opt in for our Morning Digest emails, remember to set the right time zone to receive them from us every morning. The Morning Digest emails are a great way to keep track of upcoming due dates. You can continue to edit other settings, such as language and notifications. Take a few minutes to review your notification settings and select what is important to you personally. Next, if you're looking to access your personal profile, click on a second tab in the account settings. Upload a picture if you haven't done so already. Once done, share which department you're in and your role. This makes it easy for the whole team to find the right contact person for future tasks. Once you have set up your profile and settings, you're ready to move on to our next video, that is, creating your first project. 